All right, guys, welcome to the Philip Rivers film breakdown. Philip Rivers has one of the most, you can call it awkward, inefficient, whatever you want to call it. He has a very interesting motion, interesting mechanics, and we're going to break that down today. And I think it's actually pretty interesting how quick he's able to get the ball out of his hands with how low he brings this ball. So let's get into this breakdown right now. So as you guys all know, you probably all heard it all. He throws sidearm. But we're going to talk about why that works for him because there's no one way to throw the ball. There are many different ways to throw this ball. Now, you see how low he brings this ball. Now, most quarterbacks that you get into a problem because then you elongate this motion all the way coming around when you rotate through and you get to that external rotation phase. But the reason why it it works for Phillip is because you see how much torque he gets from his hips, right here left tackles blocking it a little bit but you can see right here how much torque he's able to generate with that front hip to make that arm there's no wasted motion in the back of his in his external rotation phase he's here drops his ball low and then it's out right now now here's the part that everybody loves to talk about how he's getting rid of this thing sidearm well that's the motion that works for him everybody throws this ball different it's inefficient when you're throwing this thing sidearm because either your left side is coming way out here, you're dipping your head and you're bringing this ball out wide. That's a different story. But the reason why this ball's coming outside and it works for him is because he's got so much torque from his hips here and he doesn't mess around in this external phase rotation. That's why the ball gets out of his hands quick. And you might think, oh, he almost short arms it, but the ball gets there because of how much torque his hips are able to produce. And you can see off of his back leg, he's driving and he's turning his toe. You can see it a little bit right here, how much he's turning his toe in the ground to get these hips torqued outside, to get these hips torqued here. How much He turns that hip so good that that's how he's able to get the ball out there. And then you see this ball come out, and this thing finishes with some energy. It doesn't die on him. He's got enough power. It's a pretty ball. It's because of how much torque he's able to generate from his hips right here. Let's watch this thing in full speed. Just able to generate so much torque from his hips. Guys, that's the name of the game when you play the quarterback position. you got to be able to create some torque from your hips and your upper half and drive from those legs. That's how you're going to get more pop on this ball, but your hip drive is essential here. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want your mechanics broken down just like how I broke down Phillip Rivers, even more detailed with specific drills to improve the weaker aspects of your game that I will point out, please check out that link in the bio. I'd really appreciate that, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.